Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to Learning with Miss Christian. Today we will be looking at Ability Task Practice 6 test. We will be looking closely at fractions on a number line. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Before you complete practice test 6, ensure that you have completed practice tests 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If not, you can pause this video, go to the description, and you will see the links to those tests. Do them and then come back. Let us begin. In math, a number line can be defined as a straight line with numbers placed at equal intervals or segments along its length. A number line can be extended infinitely in any direction and is usually represented horizontally. Infinitely means never ending. It continues on and on. The numbers on the number line increase as one moves from left to right and decrease on moving from right to left. Let us look at some examples. Let us look at this example. We see the numbers increasing from left to right. Just as though we go from 0 to 1, that is how the fractional numbers will increase on the number line. From right to left, they will decrease. Here we have a quarter, a half, and three quarters. Can you tell how we got these fractional numbers? Hmm. Pay close attention to this next illustration. Look at the arrows pointing down. They are pointing to the spaces that are between 0 and 1 for this example. Count how many arrows you see pointing down. Four arrows are pointing down. Therefore, our denominator for this fractional component between 0 and 1 will be 4. Why we have a half is because... When you count the line starting at the quarter, one, two, it would have been two-fourths. Two-fourths reduced is a half. Let's look at another example. In this example, we will be looking at mixed numbers. Now we are looking at the interval between 2 and the number 3. Therefore, the number will be a mixed number. It will be a whole number and a common fraction. Similarly to our first example, this number line has 4 intervals. How do I know that? I count the spaces in between. Let's look at it.
here you can clearly see the arrows pointing at the intervals that's what you count to know the denominator i have two and a quarter two and a half and two and three quarters how did i get the half i reduced it to its lowest term let's try some together what should be placed at the arrow on the following number line there is the arrow we can pause this video count the intervals that falls between zero and one remember the amount of intervals that you get is your denominator to get the numerator you have to count the lines themselves for this case you will have to count the first line after the line with the zero after the line with the zero that's your first line and you continue to count like that if you said five eighths then you are correct good job let's try our next one what should be at the lines labeled a b and c on the following number line for this you have to pay close attention as there are several intervals and several parts that you need to figure out remember that to get your denominator you count the intervals between the number two and the number three to get the numerator you count the lines after the number two The answer for A would be 2 and 1 fifth. How we got 2 and 1 fifth is because we had 2 and 2 tenths. Based on our knowledge of fractions, we must write the fraction in its lowest term. Therefore, we reduce using 2 to get 2 and 1 fifth. For the fraction line B, we got two and a half. How we got this is because it was two and five tenths. When we reduced two and five tenths in its lowest term, we got two and a half. Answer for the fraction line C is 2 and 4 fifths. Similarly to A and B, we had to reduce C, which was 2 and 8 tenths. When we reduced that to its lowest term, we got 2 and 4 fifths. Excellent job. I am so proud of you. You are now ready for your practice test. To access your practice test, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a like. Until next time, take care.